Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 27th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. A couple M-class solar flares to talk about. Earth facing. And as well, multiple sunspots and plasma filaments. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is crusting into view for Earth facing week. Left hand side, big plasma filament. It has not destabilized yet. Looking at outgoing here, this is where we saw the M class solar flares from the large sunspot groups. No major CMEs, coronal mass ejections, thwarted our way. Having a look at multispectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Also here, pointing out the coronal holes, which are cooled regions on our sun. And when they are Earth-facing, they do increase our solar winds. Another elongated one developing there, getting ready for an Earth-facing event. 171 angstroms here. Amazing images of plasma loops. Look at the outgoing images. And right now, we have 11 sunspot regions. Two pretty big sunspot groupings. And a couple little guys. One coming in and one turning away. Look at those in fluid motion, especially towards the equator there. Going to be keeping an eye for more flares. Current space weather conditions are one minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 422 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux showing here two moderate M-class solar flares. A couple healthy spikes there. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP3 after being up yesterday to KP5. Having a look here at the DRAP absorption map showing Cosmic energy is penetrating our atmosphere throughout the day today. Long duration C class. And then here are the M class solar flares right over the Pacific Ocean, right over Kilauea, a big Hawaiian island. Space weather prediction map here showing no major space weather events coming our way. Glancing blow 28th into the 29th. Corona hole wind stream expected right around the first. Having a look here, ISWA space prediction spiral. No major CMEs or new developments since last night's show. Slight disturbance will be coming in for the second and third. Having a look here at Lasco 2 coronagraph, short bandwidth. Most recent CME taking off and to portal directions, one northeast, one southwest. And as well, pretty impressive plasma shot coming out the left side right after these CMEs. We'll slow these images down here. Pretty dense piece of plasma came shooting out of our sun right there. Just some amazing images shared here for you keeping you aware and prepared. Having a look at our solar winds yesterday up to 520 kilometers per second. Again, right now 427. And a quick look at visuals showing our magnetosphere. This is showing our solar winds smashing our planet. And this is showing the amount of pressure. Lots of pressure backside right now. Get ready for a bow shock for the next event. Now let's get to earthquakes here. As we started off with a pretty sizable earthquake this morning, 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck Bonin Islands region, Japan. 505 kilometer depth, so largest and deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. Aftershocks continuing in Taiwan, Indonesia, right by Krakatoa volcano, 6.1 magnitude earthquake 
struck this morning. Lots of activity southwest of Australia. Pretty deep activity here today. 5.0 magnitude. Pangai, Tonga, 299 kilometer depth. As well, Tonga region 4.9 there. Up into Alaska, 4.9 reported here. Adak, Alaska, 48 kilometer depth. As well, off of the coast of Kamchatka, 4.1. Not much to report across American soil. Aftershocks continue through New Jersey. Caribbean plate, way too quiet. Only reporting 4.3 Nicaragua. 4.5 there, San Pedro, Chile. Other than that, not too much to talk about right now. USGS is reporting 258 earthquakes right now. 4.7 there, Etria. That is right by the Urta Ale volcano. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquake, largest and deepest being right there. So heads up, that's a very deep earthquake in a very volatile zone. Marion's Trench, the deepest part of our planet. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching, pressing play, subscribing, commenting, all of the love that you send towards this channel. I really appreciate you all and thank you for being a part of this journey. Stay aware, prepared, stay safe and healthy. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our 48 updated current active and erupting volcanoes. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. I released it late last night. This is showing our sulfur dioxide content, three-day forecast. So still a large plume along the equator, stretching into Africa right now from Mount Rung. Overlooking North Pacific. Big plumes coming out of Kamchatka. Notable plumes coming out of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Clearing up across the United States and central regions. Popo Paquetotol through Mexico has been not as active, for se. But volcanoes through Guatemala and the Caribbean Sea. Quite a bit of SO2 coming through those regions. Going to be keeping an eye through the sub, uh, subduction zone. Now let's get to weather. Brought to you by Windy.com. Large low pressure system has brought widespread tornadoes across the United States. Another one setting up here over the next couple days. As forecast here with daily events worldwide, extreme weather across central and Gulf states, moving northeastward. Canada, you could see quite a bit of moisture in the long range, falling as snow. Alberta Clipper here forming in the long range as well. First week of May, we could still see some snow through parts of the Canadian prairies and as well as far south as Mexico, Denver. So heads up, those are all the low pressure systems which bring rain our forecast for the next 10 days. Overlooking Europe, one low pressure system right now north of Spain. It's going to jet straight north across the United Kingdom before joining forces with another low that comes in from the west. And then, then most of them are joining forces and hanging around the Mediterranean all week long. So watch for widespread showers and possible extreme weather events as a warm air is starting to funnel from the equator. Overlooking Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia. No major cyclones or typhoons developing here. But just some interesting weather heading towards northern Madagascar. Whipping a low going through Sydney the first week of May. We could see a cyclone develop through Indonesia and the Philippines in the long range, though. Overlooking North Pacific, a couple low pressure systems grinding through BC this week. And most of these systems will be heading towards Alaska and BC as they come in from the west. Big high pressure blockade, keeping things dry across the western United States. Now let's have a look at significant wave forecast here as we've got quite an event happening in the southern hemisphere 
very turbulent right now. I showed yesterday the upper level winds as the southern polar vortex is totally set up and creating quite a turbulent ocean in the Antarctic right now. These are forecast models for the next 5 to 10 days south of Africa. And then watch here around Australia. Very high waves are expected. That big white blob, you can expect 13 to 15 meter high waves. And very strong conditions across New Zealand. Long range forecast. Much love everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. Y'all stay safe and healthy out there. Extreme weather season is now upon us. Hurricane season, Atlantic hurricane season is upon us. And forecasters are saying we could have at least 15 Category 3 to Category 5 hurricanes. So, heads up, stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.